elephant seems pretty irritated. <laughs> a dog saves its buddy from an eagle. A security guard smacks Africa's most dangerous animal to get it back in its area. <laughs> Oh my god! Hello! Ooh! Oh! Gya, 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 gya! Two koalas go at it right in the middle of the street. A very close encounter with a mountain lion in San Jose. Go. Huh? Go, go. I'm guessing this caracal is a pet, but wow. Those teeth are terrifying. Imagine going to the park and seeing bees everywhere. Yeah. 
A very dangerous sloth bear ready to take on a leopard. Hippo is widely regarded as the most dangerous animal in Africa, of course outside of the mosquito. Two of them go at it right in front of some humans. Yes, folks, this is a polar bear petting a dog. <laughs> Oh, he just went all the way through my tongs. Oh my god. Nope, don't do it. Don't even think about it. Can you give me something other than your butt? Can you? Okay. Is that okay? It's okay? Where do you think you're running off to? Where do you think you're running off to? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I don't get to love on you sometimes. You just want to play. Boy, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Maxwell. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Hey, what happened to that lovable cat? It's the demon. It's the demon. What are you doing? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, Esther. Hey, my God. Hey, my baby, my baby. 
A somewhat friendly wild coyote. Uh, ready? Boop. Catch it. There you go. Good girl. Eat it up. Well, that was quick. Bio, 100% uh, of the proceeds go to Mooch for any donation. Ready, Mooch? There you go. Good catch. Good girl. Don't drop it. There you go. These men are trying to catch a python in a creek in the Philippines. Holy shit. Oh. Back away slowly. Oh, he doesn't care. Back Come on, guys. Now we've got an issue. <laughs> yeah. He's tired. I think I better start back. I can't back up that fast, can I? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, that's the first time for me. Shit, you pissed him off. <laughs> Oh, Holy shit, he came back! <laughs> That'd be a hard accident report to write, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, he'd hurt you. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. You told him to turn around, too. It's your yeah. fault. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Oh, thank goodness. Evidently, this African rock python just ate an impala. You come into our wheel. You carry the need for that. Some good Samaritans try to save a shark stranded on the beach. Fox tries to figure out the quickest way to catch a little gosling. The adult geese are not trying to hear it. A man gets violated by a skunk.
Honey, yeah, just. <gasps> it got you? It sprayed you? Yeah, all burns. <laughs> Ew. Oh my God. Oh, I smell that. Uh. Holy God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Jesus. Uh, it burns. <laughs> <laughs> that is disgusting. All right, get <laughs> You're getting in the car? You can't drive? A grizzly and an even bigger Kodiak bear. That little bear's got guts. That thing's huge behind him. <laughs> fucking with him, though. A little girl up close and personal with wild hyenas. What happens when an M80 meets a wasp nest? I think that about did it. And it's gone. Cobra bites a snake charmer, and the charmer acts like nothing happened. Some grizzly bears are let free, but the last one wants to give the trailer a piece of its mind.
a brouhaha between a mountain lion and a grizzly. Man, cats are crazy. Like, they're not scared of anything. I mean, this mountain lion would have probably fought a T-Rex if it had to. A close encounter with the huge bird-eating spider. And she's a close relative of those tarantulas that we find in South America. The difference is though, that these, these spiders actually use some kind of danger warning, like a hissing noise. She doesn't munch at all. She has a sucking stomach in her head, which is really cool. She sucks all the fluids out of the prey, and that's what she eats, that's what she feeds on. A very curious coyote is determined to annoy the heck out of this guy. Hey, be careful. Get. Hey, 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 stop it. Hey, little fucker. Yeah, eh? You wanna fuck around, eh? Hey, 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 you stay there. A 20-foot python in Africa will not let these people who are on the move on a safari pass. Steve Irwin used to say that a lot. <laughs> and where is he now? <gasps> Jesus! <laughs> Didn't know I was supposed to switch sides. Oh, sorry. Tell me you're in Thailand without telling me you're in Thailand. much closer than perhaps I would want if this were me.
Some soldiers prank a fellow friend by putting a camel spider on his head. Camel spiders are not aggressive per se, but they pack a very nasty bite. It'll all be over soon enough. <laughs> you stop. Hold on. Stop. <laughs> oh, God. Ugh. <laughs> I'm throw that damn thing out there. A gigantic bear takes a stroll through Brooks Lodge Ranger Station in Alaska. That is huge. No, come on here so you can see the, the full size of it, dude. This is close to what we're Watch out, move, 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 move. This is as close as we're going to get to a real Look at this bear. Look at this bear. Oh, you my. Also. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That bear is right here. There's one key that opens up all off. Watch out for that. I own Barry, I own Ranger, yeah. Whoa. Relax, guys, relax. 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 It's okay. Just relax. A wild boar wants whatever is in this lady's bike basket. <laughs> An angry lynx in your home is a dangerous one. Bobcat and a young bear go at it right before Mama Bear steps in. Hunting wild pythons in the Everglades in Florida. Got about a 10 foot Burmese python here. This guy's being pretty chill. Not really trying to bite me. Let me kind of play around with him. I think that's because this snake is about to shed. So because it's about to shed, it's essentially blind. So it probably... All right. Got about a seven foot python here. Just pulled him off the side of the road. Biting itself.
shit all over me. Six inches behind. <laughs> Dude, that thing's bigger than your face. Ryan and I had a bet that if we ever get one this big, it's all him. And I'm just gonna sit back. No, it's careful, yeah, shoot down your leg. Over. That is so much bigger than anything I've ever caught before. One be so casual around this free roaming lion. Wow, I don't know what it was. Ah, no, I'm a. Why you pocket that, ne? Wow, bad you, wow. It's a habit of you. 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 It's a habit of I told you, it's quite in the zoo. Oh, hey. I told you, 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 Just imagine getting all this TLC from some young lions. Okay, I'm pushing you. 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 Oh my god, I'm pushing you. What do you guys want from me? It's chewing you. I can see them. Well, I can see this being scary. It's completely. Ow. Ow. Come on. Uh, I don't even know if I lifted it enough. Yep, there's some in there. Uh, 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 uh. Come on, Bree. Don't be scared. Fuck. I think he fell in there. This is a bear species you've probably never seen. It's called the spectacled bear. <laughs> Mom's like, oh, that's me. Baloo is too big. Oh. <laughs> Think she needs help. <laughs> I never realized how aggressive an iguana can be. After all, they are usually pretty chill. He's opening his mouth at me. He tried to tail whip and he wants to bite me. You can see it in his eyes. In the classic head bob. So what I did is I rigged a stick. He's still looking at me. So when I try to pet him, go around, he'll follow me. Which leaves me open, which is kind of scary, but he usually follows it kind of closely. And you go back to me petting him. His jaws are all flared. 
his mouth's wide open. Um, see, there he is. He tried to bite me. And he took my glove off, so now I have no protection. Just have a stick. <laughs> oh, God. Look how pretty she is. Hi, girl. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> and up? this is a video of Josh getting bit by a trench. Look. He's so cute. This is just too close to be to a wild bull moose. Yeah, so right now, these moose are, are not super concerned about our presence. Curious shark gets close to a man on his kayak. At the time this man was recording, he did not know that he was handling the extremely venomous blue ringed octopus. Just one milligram of poison can kill a person and there is no antidote. Come on. Ooh, look at those fangs. This fella's dinkum. Kiwi fruit. Sort of a little bit prickly furry, but soft and yet very firm. It's a nice feel, really. They live in these long tunnels and they catch and eat birds. Those great jaws, those great powerful jaws there can actually crush a bird. You leap on a small bird like a finch or a lizard or a frog and Good day everybody, check this out. Look at these guys. Those are some blood worms right there. These worms actually have four fangs. They do bite. I just wanted to show you these guys up close and what they look like. I harvest these here in the state of Maine. They're excellent fishing bait. Thank goodness these folks didn't see this big old black bear. It looks venomous. Like, nah, it's crazy. Oh, God. <laughs> Whose car is this? Someone just, like, parked it. Oh, Jesus, dude. And it actually it actually wrapped around you? Yeah, that, that actually hurt for a second there. Ever is about to show the right way to act when you come face to face with a bear. For starters, if you see the bear before he sees you, just slowly back away. But once you're face to face, you need to stay calm. Don't run. Not only are bears faster than you, they're also better climbers. Then experts say you want to put your hands up in the air and make a bunch of noise. This will convince the bear that you're not an easy meal and that it's better off just walking away. A python getting into it with some roosters isn't something you see every day, is it? Thank you. 
the neighbor's relief, the man claiming to be the tiger's owner is able to lure it into his vehicle and drive away. Police catch up with him. He reveals the animal is nine months old, named India, and being kept illegally right under neighbor's noses. Just two doors down from the mom who filmed this video. Oh my gosh. courageous dog isn't the least bit afraid of an enormous polar bear. Right there. They're running too. They're running. Oh my gosh. Look at that. The bears are running. Oh, one of them standing up. One of the bears? Oh, yeah. they're running. They just stood up. They're they are charging. running and in the dra Oh, they're running. I lost them now. In the yeah, I don't trees. see the bears, but they were you actually. You need to continue to go this way. You need to move this way right now. Oh my gosh. The people are out of their cars. Oh, look still. at that. They are in the road. The bears are in the road. All three of them. Wow. And they're crossing. And it's probably those people that cause the bears to get Guys, look at this. Look. That is a big boy. Dude. That is a big That's a big boy. Nah, there's one bigger than him. There's one way bigger than him. Look, Look at this. Right there. Broke off. Broke Are off. you kidding me? A wild elephant on the move out in Kerala, India.
Absolutely. A neighbor even put this sign up. Mountain lion warnings are rippling through this area and for good reason. For the first time, we have 15 year old Paige Radinsky's video showing what she saw just outside her sliding glass doors. I don't know why he's not running away. I think it's up close. This mountain lion was acting like any other house cat. It was purring and hissing at my dogs. I go over and I was like, oh, please don't let it be the mountain lion. And of course it was. Paige so. Radunsky said the tagged cat hung outside these sliding glass doors for about a half hour, then left only to come back. So the Labradoodle was a little bit scared, but um, our Border Collie Lab mix wasn't at all. He was actually kind of excited by it. <laughs> Her father, Pierre, wasn't home at the time. It's definitely nerve wracking for, for the homeowners that have dogs. Um, or cats. Two houses that direction is the. Here showed us his backyard where the cat wandered around. Hours after this family called Simi Valley Police and officers scared it off, someone noticed the cougar here around 1 a.m. Same neighborhood, this time down the street around Moonshadow and Rising Star Avenue. The cat then strolled along Yosemite and eventually it jumped a wall towards Bluebird Circle where we found the Amines. They were pointing the flashlights over there, so we got to see the end of the cat. So that was a surprise, yeah, like we saw the police cars, so that's the reason like they had a, fl a flashlight. Both these sightings come after two attacks. One Wednesday night when Sammy barely survived his skirmish with the large cat. Hours later, early Thursday morning, when a woman desperately tried to fend off the mount lion after her miniature schnauzer Pumba charged it. The 30 pound dog was no match for the cat. The, sh the Schnauzer died. The Rodninskis made sure to check their backyard before they took their two dogs out today. Police told them even though the cat is tagged, that tag is not active, so no one has been able to track it. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel. As you're at work and you get a notification from your ring camera, then you watch live on oh the boy. front door camera as an intruder breaks in. Yeah, Alicia's here now with the uh, bandits behind this grisly crime. And boy, oh boy, we hope this never happens to any of us. But can you imagine? I, right. Honestly, <laughs> you're looking down and here's what you see. Bears, four of them trying to break in. A hungry mama bear and her three cubs caught on camera trying to bust through the front door when they try to open it with their paws. Well, they find another way in. Then he climbed through the window, pushed through the screen, and he, he got into my house. And the three little bear cubs followed him in. And then he went into my kitchen and he found my, uh, my refrigerator. And he went inside the fridge and ate all the food in the fridge. This is where he got in. So John Costanzo couldn't see what happened after the bears broke in until he got home from his job in New York City. But thanks to the ring camera, he was able to call security, who scared away the bandits. I was surprised they didn't go into the rooms or nothing. I don't cause any more damage. Good thing they didn't sleep in your beds. Yeah, that too, right. If I didn't have the ring camera, I would have thought it was like a burglar breaking into the house. But right? luckily. Right, but luckily the ring camera showed me exactly what happened. So when I, you know, when I saw it, I said, oh my God, there's a bear in my house. <laughs> now, while the traps were set up, the bears came back the next day. But Costanzo, one step ahead, had already locked the window where they had entered. You see that? They try to turn the knob again. Then they go to the window, can't get in. The game warden did manage to catch the mom and two of the three cubs. They have since been relocated to a bear sanctuary with plenty of snacks. But Shar, you were just saying it. Yes. They're so smart. They're wow. so clever and they're smart enough to know there was good stuff there the first time. Right. Probably good stuff there if I go yeah. back a second time. Look yeah. like they even used the microwave. I mean, they were heating <laughs> yeah, stuff up. And... They, they know the fridge. They know what to I open. Know. Pretty smart. Yeah. All right. Thanks, That's Alicia. a crazy one. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alicia, thanks. Penn State fans will soon be able to enjoy a beer inside Beaver Stadium.